Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and I wanted to make a quick video and release it tonight after I saw a video on Flatsoid's channel. His guest was Will Duffy, and of course they were doing their usual abusive selves, but there was one gentleman on the panel that said something that intrigued me. It was the one in the middle, the older gentleman wearing the gray sweatshirt, and he and Duffy were having a conversation about things that would prove the globe to him. And he had a little challenge for Duffy. He said something about wanting to demonstrate a reproducible earth convexity uh, matching the radius of the earth. And he seemed a little bit off about how he wanted to go about proving that. So let's go ahead and clear it up. So this is a direct challenge to you, Flatsoid, and your panel, and especially that gentleman in the middle. Here's what I would like you to do. I want you to design a specific observation that will convince you that the Earth is a globe or a flat surface, depending on the results of the observation. Now here are the criteria for the observation. First of all, it has to be something that any of us can do for a reasonable price. And I will say less than $100 US is a reasonable price to conduct an experiment like this. Second of all, it has to involve reasonable expectations. I live in Michigan. I don't have access to a high mountain here. I'm not going to go out and rent an aircraft. If I do an observation of the horizon over Lake Michigan, I can only get a couple of directions. I can't get a 360 view because I'm standing on the shore looking out at the lake and there's land behind me. We can go to different sites if you think it's necessary. However, a total of five observations or less will need to be collected. In other words, I'm not going to drive all the way around Lake Michigan checking every 10 miles to see what the dip to the horizon is. So you get five observations, pick them well. Next, you have got to agree to a reasonable margin of error. Characteristic five of science denial is an inappropriate demand of perfection from science. No measurement is perfect. I would suggest a margin of error of plus or minus 10%, which is very reasonable for an amateur such as myself trying to measure the radius and curvature of the Earth. And the last criteria for the experiment is that you must predict in advance the results that would be a flat Earth and the results that would be a spherical Earth. Now you don't have to be exact on this. For example, if we were to look at drop at the horizon, the results for a flat Earth would be zero drop, and the results for a curved Earth with a radius of approximately 6371 kilometers would be a drop of 8 inches per mile squared. Now here's the kicker for you. If I agree that your proposed experiment would be able to tell the difference between a flat and a curved Earth, and I agree to do it, you must go on record agreeing that you will accept the results of the experiment. I will state in advance that if the results demonstrate a flat earth, I'll be a flat earther. However, you have to state in advance that if the results demonstrate a globe earth of radius 6371 kilometers approximately, you will give up this flat earth silliness and you will admit that the earth is a globe. You must agree to that before I go through the effort of doing the experiment. If not, there's plenty of stuff on my channel that demonstrates the globe. But if you want me to dance to your tune and do your experiment, you are going to pay the piper, sir. Now, Flatsoid, you and your little band can discuss this. I will make myself available to come on your show next Friday. And we will agree to this, and I will record it. Because once we get the experiment settled, I'm going to make a video about it. And I want your soundbite agreeing to accept the results and that will be part of the video and if i do the test and the results demonstrate a globe earth of radius 6371 kilometers approximately and you refuse to give up this flat earth silliness i will publicly humiliate you and i will use your words to do it so if you want to do this you're going to have me on and you're going to go on record and i will go on record as accepting your experiment so the ball's in your court kid this bob the science guy Take care.